Hey everybody, Mike Pfeiffer. Nothing fancy tonight. I'm holding the camera by hand. Gonna be do gonna be doing shaky cam. Uh, but I just want to do a video to show you guys. Everybody keeps worrying about the trains falling off down on the bottom, and I'm gonna show you what uh, a catch cloth is. Uh, it seems to me like a lot of guys have never heard of it before. So um, I'm gonna show you my rendition of what I intend to use under here. Okay, what a catch cloth does is uh, it's just a cloth that drapes underneath the track at any given point that catches a train should the train fall off that track and keeps it from hitting the floor. Um, that's a simple explanation of what it is. They come in all shapes and sizes. Uh, when I was in the HO club out at the fairgrounds, we had catch cloths underneath the layout there and they were made out of canvas and someone had uh, seamed them all the way or hemmed them all the way around at some point and they had put um, uh, grommets in the corners and stuff and then hung them underneath the layout. They, they sure enough caught trains. However, uh, since they were heavy cloth and you couldn't see through them, uh, there were times that we took the catch cloth down to do some wiring and so forth and found cars that had been down there for months or years uh, that nobody retrieved when a train fell off the track or whatever happened. They just wound up being going to the uh, catch cloth graveyard. So uh, th this is what I'm going to show you, what I'm going to try and use, and I'll explain it real briefly how it works, and this will be a very short video. So... Okay, I have to get a little bit too close under here to uh, show this. And I'm not going to cut any of this stuff yet because I'm not ready to do this yet. But I just want to show you how I'm going to do it and what I am going to do. This corner is a prime example. Trains could fall to the inside, they could fall to the outside. Uh, all the way around this over to the shelf. So, if I go down here, what I'm going to do is I have all these little hooks and what I plan on doing is putting a hook back there in that corner putting a hook up there on the end of that one by back there putting a hook here putting a hook here putting a hook in the middle over there and putting a hook back over probably here and all I'm gonna do is from hook to hook and hook to hook and hook to hook is I'm gonna cut a piece of this cloth. Now let me let me kind of stretch it out here. This this cloth here, uh, I found this at Joann's uh, Fabrics. It's uh, some kind of a mesh material, and I'm, let me put my knee on it. You can see that it stretches, okay, in both directions and these holes are big enough to be able to pick any hole there and hook it onto the hooks. So what I will do is I will pull it not tight but just a little taut so that it's kinda not drooping down here in a square or a rectangle all the way in that corner area right there. So if a train comes off the track in that area it will land in its little trampoline here. Um, that's the idea of a catch cloth. Well, I know that my shadow is in this, but I've decided to go ahead and just put up this one little piece tonight just so that you have an idea and so that I have an idea of how this is going to work. And, uh, I mean, I have an idea, but I want to show you how it works. So, I'm going to make it a little easier and I'm going to put a little pilot hole up here to get the hook started. And we're just gonna put the put the hook in the hole. And this does these hooks, they do not have to be super strong. All they're gonna do is hold up this cloth, this material, which weighs virtually nothing. And at some point in time I may speed this process up by putting the drill on this. First we're going to put the hook facing up and I'm going to mount the other hooks and I will be back to show you how I hang the cloth. Okay, I have a hook back there in that corner, have a hook right over there that you can see, hook in the middle here, hook in the middle there, 
hook in the outside over there and a hook in the outside over here. The only problem is, is I have some skirting that goes along the edge of this right here and it doesn't go up very high so what I may do is do this in two pieces put move this hook oops wait a minute move this hook right here up there and move uh, that hook up so that I can drape the piece under and then back up to the top over here and then I can make a separate piece and hook it on the inside and drape it under and up over there I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that yet but this one is just going to be temporary I can always move the hooks I can always cut the materials not a big deal so you know where the hooks are let me show you what this is going to look like I did not cut this piece of catch cloth um, it's obvious that there's some places where it's lacking protection but I can fix that very easily with thumbtacks instead of the hooks back there I could even staple it back there because I can unhook it up here at the front and disconnect it and let it down to get stuff off of it there are several modifications I can make to it but as you can see if a, if a car comes off the track and lands in there it's going to catch it and I will be able to see it and that's the whole purpose here this is going to take some finessing and I certainly will show it to you after I get done putting it up it'll be in one of the next videos however for the time being that's exactly how it's going to work so I hope you enjoyed this hope you get something out of it and thanks for watching well, thank you guys for bearing with me, and now you understand what a catch cloth is, and I hope this uh, works for you like it's going to work for me. And as usual, thanks for watching.